welcome, 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 welcome to the Fat Loss Diet, day one. What's going on? Mark Clark here, and um, again, I'm in my car. Spreaker's amazing. Live podcast. Well, it's not live. It's a podcast. I'm recording live in my car on the way home from work. So, today was the first day of a new approach. Now, you all know I've been, uh, I, I did a juice fast. 60-day juice fast, lost 70 pounds or so. Now I'm flipping it, shocking the system into something new. Now, why did I do it? Why am I doing it? Well, it's funny. After I did the 60-day juice fast, I have to admit, I was kind of like in stuck in nowhere's land in some ways in that, okay, I knew I wasn't going to just juice for the rest of my life. I did, you know, I did learn the power of fruits and vegetables, a lesson that I will cherish and use for the rest of my life. Uh, So I was doing, uh, I was still juicing and experimenting with raw, you know, going all the way raw. And I was like, uh, that's not really, I can see that too in the future. Not ready for it right now. Uh, The benefits of fruits and vegetables so overwhelming that it would be easy just to stay in that box. But I did hear author Tim Ferriss on the Joe Rogan podcast. And he really got my attention. Uh, He's author of the 4-Hour Workweek, 4-Hour Body, and he has a new one, I think, the 4-Hour Cookbook, I think. But um, he's kind of a crazy madman who uses himself as a guinea pig as he tries different things to um, apply to his life. Uh, He's kind of a scientist, and so he employs kind of a scientific method, and he tracks the results, and just a fascinating young man. Look him up, uh, check him out on TED, on YouTube, some of the TED Talks. He's talking about, uh, you know, his books and different things that he's come to realize, things that he's learned by self-experimentation, self-examination. So, you know, he's doing it. So I said, you know what, let me try this. This is, this, I'm going to, you know, incorporate what he um, has in his book, The 4-Hour Body, and it's kind of like the 30-day, 30 days to losing 20 pounds of fat. And I may do it more than 30 days, but I thought it was such a drastic change to what I'd been doing, which was just that, you know, fruits and vegetables. And I thought it would be a good, good for my body, a nice uh, way for me to evaluate the different feeling of, you know, eating meat again and experimenting with a, basically he calls it slow carbs. It's basically a, more of a high, high protein low carbs and uh, you know type of diet and you know this is uh, you know I think we've all experimented with this before in a way some have tried the Atkins diet some have tried low carbs and a high high protein this is somewhere in the middle Uh, basically you choose from you know you have your proteins your meats proteins you have your legumes you have your fruits and vegetables I actually don't have fruit. I'm sorry. There are no fruit. There's no fruit. The fructose in fruit is a no-no. So you don't have fruits uh, in this one. And But what you do is you pick from your, your proteins, your veggies, your legumes. <laughs> um, and there's some fats in there. And you pick from those daily. And then you get a cheat day. One day a week where you can just go off I mean just whatever get it in you're you're basically spiking your insulin levels on that cheat day so during the week something you want to have just write it down save it for your cheat day then on your cheat day you can go crazy folks go crazy so that was kind of exciting I mean again I've I've seen that before but I like his book because he kind of gives you the scientific breakdown of what exactly is going on when you uh, enact this slow carb. And I think 
you know, hearing him, and like I said, I've been listening to the Joe Rogan podcast, and there's a lot of, uh, I guess it's the paleo diet that's very popular. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. Uh, but it's kind of like, you know, grass-fed beef and uh, definitely getting your protein in and the benefits of it. And, and again, in his book, I like the fact that he will break it down and tell you what happens chemically when you eat protein and eat starches and why you don't eat fruit in this specific uh, plan and why the binge, you know, uh, why, you know, the cheat day, uh, it's a combination of a psychological effect of, you know, you get that release where you don't feel like you're just so restricted. And he also talks about what happens chemically when you do eat all those calories and why it's okay in this plan because you're kind of, um, you, you're kind of shocking your body so it doesn't uh, slip into, uh, you know, it doesn't slip into a different mode when it sees that you're, you're kind of, uh, you know, you're, you're not eating a lot of calories. And the beans, I think, uh, also the legumes are also there to help the calorie, your calorie uh, count up, keep it up. Because, you know, if you drop down into a low cal thing, your body changes chemically. Again, I'm not a trainer. I'm not a doctor. I'm just somebody who is excited about trying this. Because what happens when you ha have success, like the success I had with the juice, juicing, you now are open to other things to see, compare, and contrast what this success will feel like. And also, it was just perfect timing because as someone who, you know, I enjoy lifting weights, I enjoy muscle mass, and I know, you know, the, the, with the juicing, uh, it definitely is a different feel. Uh, you don't have that kind of like, that uh, power feel you know it's more of a laid back more of a at least for me it was more of a kind of a, you know I felt in tune with my body I felt a control I didn't feel like I could go lift a truck you know and I think uh, I like that feeling of feeling like I can lift a truck <laughs> but at the same time I don't want to have that feeling and you know I wouldn't substitute that feeling for high blood pressure you know, I like the fact that during my juice fast, my blood pressure dropped extremely low uh, to the healthy range. And uh, I may find in the long run that, you know, the raw diet is best for me. Uh, but again, I, I wanted to try this. So this is day one. And already I'm off to a bad start in some ways in that I did not, you know, I've been at work all day. I didn't get a chance to dip out and eat like I need to be eating. So already I'm, uh, you know, I'm, I'm in uh, nowhere land that you should never be in. Anything you do, any plan that you do, any, uh, you know, any diet that you follow, you always need to have your food ready, man. You got to get that food in. And that was the beauty of the juicing. Taking the juice, it was the only thing that I was going to have, but I had it by my side in the car, ready at work. So when I was hungry, I could have my juice and be good. Uh, today I did the you know, I did the no-no, and that was not to prepare my food, not to have my lunch with me, and I was going to go out and never got a chance to. So that's already setting myself up for failure, but I'm not going to fail because I'm focused and it's day one. But don't do that, okay? Always plan your meals beforehand. Have them readily available because this is when you go off. When you haven't eaten, and then you just go crazy. So don't do that if you're on any plan. Um... But, you know, other than that, man, um, that's what's going on. It's day one. I'm excited about it. And uh, I hope you'll follow my journey. And if you're thinking about doing the same thing, you're welcome to uh, hop on board. Uh, please tweet me if you have any questions about uh, my success uh, with the juicing or any questions about how this is going, any specifics about this. And also, you can check out my uh, website, www.marks60dayfast, and that will show you uh, how my fast went. And actually, what's beautiful about that website is, uh, in addition to the 60-day fast, you can go back and see me, man, on all kind of, I mean, years of trying and failing on diets. So, <laughs> there's pictures, there's 
uh, me doing well, there's me failing, you know, there's a whole bunch of going on there. There's, a, there's some, uh, <laughs> you know, some uh, blogs that I wrote. It's kind of a hodgepodge of my uh, dietary exploits. But uh, check that out again, www.marks, M-A-R-C-S, 60-day juice fast, or actually 60-day fast, okay? And I'll be updating that and uh, posting this on that same site. And also, uh, you know, my experiences with this new plan. So I'm not going to keep you. I am driving. But thanks for listening. And if you have any questions, Twitter, hit me on Twitter at Mark Clark at M-A-R-C-C-L-A-R-K-E. M-A-R-C-C-L-A-R-K-E. That's me on Twitter. And please follow me on Spreaker. And I'll follow you back. Follow me and I'll follow you back. All right. Have a good one. I'll talk to you tomorrow on this uh, on the same podcast. All right. Good evening.